Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Keaton here, and welcome to Honey Pop. Uh, so, yeah, for those of you who do not know, this is a visual novel slash dating sim mixed with a, uh, a, a match three game, sort of like a bejeweled. And um, that's pretty much all I know, except for one other thing, which is what I saw in a, a YouTube clip when this game first came out which convinced me that one day I would have to play it. And uh, yeah, so apparently Honey Pop seems to be a visual novel as if written by a dude bro. So expect a lot of, I guess, foul language and I don't know, dude bro mentality. I don't know. I don't know what really to expect. I just know that some of the dialogue was pretty ridiculous. But uh, yeah, without th further ado, I'm sure you don't want to hear me blabbling on. You want to just see the anime girls in, in all their goodness. Uh, so here we go. Alright. Now you can start as female or male. That's progressive. Um, I guess we'll go male just because I'm male. Alright. Sunday night, bar and lounge. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> what? Who, me? Uh, and hi, hello. Um... Well, all of these are just, uh, bad options. There's no just, like, uh, you know, some modest hello, like, a, uh, how's it going? You want to put your straps back on? Oh, wait, those aren't straps. Those are gravity-defying straps that keep the dress up somehow. Maybe she has them glued to her body. I'll go with the, what? Are you talking to me? Oh, okay. Uh, I think I'm in love with you. Well, that's a little forward. Oh, sorry, I just don't talk to many girls. Uh, you really, re you, you're like really, really cute. The, the, the two are quite forward. These two are quite forward, but you know, this one is quite like, you know, meh. You're like really cute. Let's go with that. Crazy. <laughs> My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> I literally can't remember my name right now. You mean like the letter? Q, that's a weird name. <laughs> huh. Let's go with the first one. You're like so beautiful, I forgot my name. Right. We'll try that again later. Look, dude. Okay then, never mind. Right. Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. What do you mean? I'm fine. I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Those are just love stains. Wait, no, 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 no. I didn't say that. Is it that obvious? Maybe she'll take pity on us. How comfortable you are right now from space. Hmm, wait. You know what? This might actually work. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy. Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night. Night. Well, thank you for ruining my confidence, I'm sure. It's my bedroom. Hey, you. Rise and shine. We've got work to do. Uh. I said get up. Are we... Do we just live with a fairy? Is this our life? Okay. Uh, I was just having the best dream. I bet you were. Well, I didn't mean like that, but sure. That get up. I'm definitely still dreaming. What? Wait. Oh, okay. So apparently a, a fairy just landed in our room. Uh, who are you? Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. Wow. Okay. Well, now that you mention it, the outfit is kind of the same. It's got that gravity-defying, just clothes pasted to the body thing going for her. So that makes sense. The hair is different and she's got wings now, but you know. I guess. Yeah, I'm the fool for not recognizing you. Yeah, but you had brown hair. Also, not wings. Good point. Gonna go with that one. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. Thank you. It's just mm, what I do. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You, though. 
let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Okay, can we just uh, back it up a bit here? I think I, I, given the dialogue choices that they gave me, I think I did pretty well. The fact that I'm sweating should not be indicative that I might have a problem talking to women, all right? Maybe I'm just a natural over sweater. Maybe I perspire easily. That's pretty presumptuous that I need help finding a girl because I sweat a lot. Jesus. Why do you want to help me? What's in it for you? That's a pretty good question, actually. Maybe she's a demon. She's just pretending to look like a fairy. She could be like, I'm going to help you find love. And then I'm going to suck your soul out when you're in your happiest moment of life. Ah, ah, the bejeweled part. I'll try to make we're, fi we're finally to the game. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. You have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, red is sexuality. The pink hearts are passion tokens, gold bells are joy tokens, the broken heart tokens are bad news, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. This game is a lot deeper than I thought it'd be. I thought I'd just have to match things and then that adds to some kind of score that gets me points with the ladies, but no, each and every single one of these little icons per per pertains to a different part of the woman that I'm apparently dating. This is, this is so much more complicated than I expected. All right, here's your stuffed bear back. Whoa, that was a lot of passion for a stuffed animal. Gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, sweet. So I can just play Bejeweled now. Yeah. Fill you with passion and excitement for all days to come. So much affection. Ah, oh, so much affection. Ah, oh, happiness. Wee. Do you feel the love? It's so magical. Matching three for such happiness. Ah. This is pretty much. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. 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 Yep. Don't break the purple hearts, because those are bad. But yeah, this is pretty much Bejeweled. I'm not, I'm not complaining, you know? Ain't nothing wrong with a little Bejeweled. I'm probably doing this really badly. Yay, success! Oh shit, it's morning already? We are way behind schedule. I have one last thing to give you. The Honeybee 4.0. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. That's a little creepy. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. So uh, let's do this. Let's go head on. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, you got to go where the hot chicks are. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? I should have taken a poll. I didn't know there was gonna. I was going to be able to choose. I thought it was just going to be like... Here's this character. Here's this character. Which one do you want to date? Why don't you just, we'll just go head first in shopping mall. The worst place to probably try and pick up girls. But you know what? We're going to do it. Let's do it. Oh, oh, okay. I'm glad I chose the mall. You screwed it up again. That's exactly what you asked for. Are you joking? Bitch, do I look like I'm joking? How am I supposed to roll around like this? You're fucking loco. This is how I always cut your nasty ass hair. Nasty ass hair? Ugh, don't even. Look who's talking, skank. No, bitch. My hair isn't dried out and reeking of smoke, okay? <coughs> Whatever, ho. Why don't you go get knocked up again? You need to turn around and walk away. What's wrong? Did I hurt your whore feelings? Turn around and walk away. Gladly. At least I won't have to look at your whore face anymore. Fucking whore ass bitch needs to learn. Ooh, she's a little feisty one, huh? <laughs> this is what we refer to as a mega bitch. Confidence is key here. 
She has to know you're in charge and her bullshit isn't going to phase you. So whatever you do, just stay cool. Uh, could you move, please? You're kind of in my way. Yeah, so uh, that's the exact dialogue. I'm actually glad that I went to the mall because I wasn't even sure if I would choose the right place. I was hoping for this scene, the scene that you just saw. <laughs> That's the writing I was talking about. That's the writing I was expecting and that lived up to all my expectations <laughs> So I guess we're trying to romance the worst character in the game or probably the most difficult uh, according to uh, First impressions. Let's try our best to try and woo the lady <laughs> who just cuts out another lady for her hair All right so the fairy lady said, I have to be confident and let her know that I am in charge. I'm guessing B is that that's the one. It's just like, hey, lady, I'm looking. Uh, ew. What are you even oh. doing at the mall anyway? Besides creeping on girls. Oh, my pride. Wow. That is forward as hell. That might be a little too forward. That's that's not confidence. That is just like jumping over confidence and being like extra creepy. Let's screw it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and play it smooth. Just creeping. <laughs> nice. At least you're honest. Nice. Well, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Sorry. Damn. But you did put in effort, I guess, and you are kind of cute. I'll tell you what. If you're lucky, maybe we can go get high sometime. You down? <laughs> there must be a generational gap here or something. Like kids these days, is that is that a thing kids these days do? Like, oh my God, this girl is so hot because she gets high. <laughs> I've been known to get a little stupid from time to time. That works for me. Name's Audrey. Get at me if you want to make things crazy. Cray cray. Now, if you don't mind, could you get the fuck out of my way? No, wait, you did it. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago, since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get him. Girl. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. Excuse me. Excuse me, fairy lady. You just said I did pretty damn well. I think I handled that the best way possible. Thank you very much. All right. So I guess we're going to go with Hai McGee over here. Let's talk with her because I don't think I can just ask her a date. We only have one heart. So let's talk with her. How you doing, girl? So here's a question. You ever stolen anything? Oh, damn. Only the hearts of beautiful women. <laughs> oh my god. Oops. Are you serious? Okay. She did not take kindly to ironic confidence. What are you doing at the mall in the morning anyway, lady? Don't you have a job? Then again, I'm here, so I can't really talk. What kind of people you just fucking hate to even look at? Well, this woman is very hateful. She's probably gonna like this answer, so let's go with it. Ugh, oh, no. yeah. Even my friends can be so plastic sometimes. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jesus, the things we do for love, people. The things we do for love. Question for you. Do you even work out? I was born perfect. I don't need to work out. I like that answer. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yo, whatever. Speak again. So, I'm like starving. Like, to death? It's kind of a problem. Like, oh my god. Oh, she's starving. So does she want food? Can I ask her out on a date? But I mean... Still at one heart. Do I have food to give her? I could feed her Kleenex. I have Kleenex. Um, let's try it. Let's ask her out on a date. Make yourself useful and go get me something to eat. 
Oh, okay. Message loud and clear now. Fitness club lady. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Well, you don't want to talk anymore, lady. What am I going to do? Stand here and stare at you? We ain't going to get nowhere with that. Sure you were watching the right kid? <laughs> oh, she has a kid. Have a good workout. Hey, get back here. This isn't over. Man, will you get a load of these two? I'd kill to have tits like that. <laughs> this chick is clearly out of your league, but there may be hope. She's probably looking for a decent guy because of that baby mama drama. So just try not to be an ass for like five minutes. Hey, are you finished with that machine? I have one set left to jam out. This fairy lady is very, very judgmental. I did the last one pretty well. I think I can adapt pretty well here. Maybe. If I fail this, I'm gonna have egg on my face, so. I'm gonna play stupid and see if she'll be like, oh, well, let me show you how it's done. Bow chicka wow wow if you're into fitness things. <laughs> it worked. You look wicked cool. Sweet. I already like this girl. She's She understands that I'm not perfect, but I'm trying, you know? Yeah. Have I seen you on TV or something? Really? Guess let's just say that. OMG! I've done a couple of local commercials, but I never thought I'd be recognized! <laughs> you must be new here. I don't think we've met before, right? I like to think I know all the regulars here on a first name basis. You could say I'm a little obsessed with this place, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Kiana. Will I be seeing you here more often? I... Uh, I don't know now. I, uh... I just said that because the other things were a little rude. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I ever saw you in my life before, uh, and uh, you're kind of scaring me now. Uh, look forward to it. That sounds pretty nice, right? It's pretty friendly. Great. I'm yeah, I look on forward it. to it. Oh, dude, you know what? Yeah. You have to try one of the yoga classes they do here. The instructor is awesome. I think you'd dig it. If you like being in a room with a bunch of sweaty girls, that is. <laughs> Let us speak. I'm just curious. How did your last relationship end? Wow. That is a pretty heavy question for the first discussion that we've ever had in our lives. I would probably be like, you know what? I don't know you too much. I mean... You know, we talked about the squat rack just a second ago, but, you know, you might want to be like, hey, what's your favorite color first? Or, you know, when's the last time you had a burger? I don't know. Anything other than how did your last relationship end? Jesus. Well, we're going to assume this person is a nice person and actually had a girlfriend at one point, and we're going to assume that it was a mutual breakup. Yeah, it happens. Sounds like it was for the best, though. Sweet. Making a lot more progress with her. Though she seems to be getting hungry. Why is it everybody I talk to gets hungry? I don't know. What was I going to ask you again? Oh, right. Do you exercise a lot? Or are you a major couch potato? Well, she seems like a fitness guru freak. Hardly ever miss a day. Yeah. I didn't get this body by taking days off. <laughs> Indeed. How do I... Oh, wait. Purchase gifts. Food. She's a fitness person, so she's probably going to want something. Wait, well, you know, she's not hungry yet, so let's hold off. Let's not try to shove food in her mouth when she's not, you know, hungry. How do you feel about girls who wear makeup? Uh, I mean, she's wearing makeup, right? Then she's at the gym. She probably doesn't wear a lot of makeup anyway, so... Hey, man, whatever floats your boat. Okay, okay. Well, I guess you're not going to talk to me anymore because you're hungry, right? I'm starving over here. Yeah, we... all right. You want a water bottle? $300 for a water bottle? Are you serious? Hey, I know you're hungry. Would you like a water bottle? Yo, you hungry? I know I am. Okay, my bad. I should have realized. That's a... Yeah, that's that's a gift. That's not food. Hello, lady. I know I just met, just met you, but would you like a carrot? Is it weird that I like veggies so much? Sweet. They give me two bars so I get to talk to her more. <laughs> Can you just imagine going up to a woman... I brought you a carrot. Will you talk with me? <laughs> Did you want to say something? Uh, okay. Oh, I get to ask a question now. Sweet. Do you prefer one season over the others? 
lame question but what's your favorite color uh what would you say your uh, what would you say your main hobby is um i'm assuming her main hobby is working out although that might be her job actually that might be her job but then she cuts hair which is it because that uh, that one girl was yelling at her for cutting her hair wrong now she's in a gym uh what's your favorite color let's let's go generic that's not lame i like blue like a deep ocean blue all right so that's that's easy to remember she's all in blue that's actually probably the more obvious question do i need to give you more food to talk to you again it feels like i haven't eaten anything in like 150 years balls can you imagine if this was how you dated in real life hi uh i know we've never spoken before but i thought you were you're really pretty and i thought i would just, you know come over and uh talk to you a bit yeah, maybe you'll get to le learn a little bit more about you so what's your favorite color give me food Okay, I'll, I'll come back. Here's a carrot. So what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Give me more food. Good lord. I just realized that I've been going for quite a while. I'm probably going to cut this video down a bit. A, because I think everyone should play this for themselves because the dialogue is ridiculous. At least between the girls so far. And the fairy. The fairy's a little judgmental, I gotta admit. But you know... Other than that, just me fumbling around these menus trying to figure out how to how to date these virtual women. But you know, this is pretty <laughs> this is pretty fun. Um, usually I play the visual novels just as a joke sometimes, but this is pretty solid so far, and I like the visual thing. Although I've only played it in the tutorial, so I hope to one day get to actually date. But apparently I need to stock up. I need to become a human grocery store before I can even get to the date portion. So we'll see what happens. Well, maybe not. I don't know if I'll do this for the channel. I might just keep it as a first impression because this might give away just how bad I am at really dating. So, you know. <laughs> Nonetheless, I highly recommend you guys check it out for yourself. Link to it on Steam is in the description below. If it at all matters, you know, to you lovely viewers out there, I, I'm currently playing the Steam version, and apparently the Steam version is censored. I don't exactly know what that pertains to, but you can uncensor it through a patch that the dev suggests. Um, but you can also download it on, a, a, I forget what the site is called, but you can purchase it through some other site as well, and you will get the full uncensored version there, so... If boobies matter to you, get that version or just be aware that you'll need to patch in the boobies. Because reasons. I don't know. I guess it's a Steam thing. I don't know. Anyway, that was my look at Honey Pop. Uh, yeah, I kind of enjoy it, really, <laughs> in a weird way. It's kind of refreshing to see characters that are not stereotypical, like, Oh, I'm, you know, this character trope. I'm just looking for love in all the wrong places or, you know, whatever the tropes may be. I kind of like that so far I've met a character that is absolutely abhorring. And then, you know, this character who is much nicer in comparison. So, you know, you've got variety there. So it's not just, do you want to date the girl with the big boobs or the, the snappy attitude? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I've been blabbering long enough. Go and check it out for yourself. Highly recommend you guys do so. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!